start with the next shape of the cone section which is ellipse so we must be pretty much acquainted with this fact that what is an ellipse we all know that the shape of the ellipse is something like this that this is a oval shape or in a layman language in a layman language you can say that this is a squeezed circle okay if you take a circle and you just squeeze it okay so this ends will elongate and this part will shorten so this can be said as the squeezed circle okay in layman language but this is the basic shape of ellipse and ellipse has one center okay as we had in circle circle has one center similarly ellipse has one center okay now this center will be the point of intersection of two axes now this ellipse is having two axes what is an axis of symmetry an axis of symmetry is such a line which divides the shape into two equal parts now in ellipse in case of ellipse there will be two axes first is this lateral and horizontal horizontal and vertical okay so this is vertical axis this is horizontal axis now this axis the longer axis okay i'm not saying horizontal or vertical i'm saying the longer axis the longer axis is called the major axis okay and the shorter one is called the minor axis now why didn't i say that the horizontal axis is called the major axis because the ellipse can be like this also okay and in this case this axis the vertical axis will become the major axis while this will be the smaller all the minor axis okay so this is the basic concept of ellipse that it has two axes major axis and minor axis and the point of intersection of these two axes is called the center of the ellipse now as we have discussed in the case of parabola that the parabola has one focus and one directrix in case of ellipse ellipse has two foci okay the plural of focus is foci so ellipse has two foci and two directrices okay so we have two foci and two directrices in the case of ellipse so i'll just remove this one now these are the two foci and the center the standard form of ellipse i'm going to discuss the standard form first so in the case of standard form the center is always at 0,0 okay and we denote this by a comma 0 and this point will be 0 comma b similarly this is minus a comma 0 because of symmetry this will be a comma 0 and this will be minus a comma 0 and this will be 0 comma minus b okay now a new term will come over here a new term will come over here which is called eccentricity e and this is called eccentricity now what is the definition of eccentricity let's first discuss that now this is very important thing you must focus here that if this is sp and this distance is pm in case of parabola we notice that the distance from the focus and the directrix this is constant okay this is equal so we can say that in case of parabola in case of parabola sp is equal to pm while in case of ellipse this is not true while in case of ellipse this sp is always smaller than pm okay this sp is always smaller than pm which means that the distance from the focus the distance from the focus is always smaller than the distance from the directrix which you can easily see as this point moves here this distance is not that much in compared to the distance from the directrix okay so we can say that the distance from the fixed point is lesser than the distance from the fixed line okay now see that this ratio the ratio of these two distances sp upon pm this ratio is always fixed in case of any conic whether it is parabola or ellipse or hyperbola which we are going to discuss in the next lecture this ratio sp upon pm the distance from the focus and the distance from the directrix this is always constant and this is equal to e 
And in this case, we've discussed that this ratio is, this SP is less than PM, which means that this ratio will be lesser than 1. Since SP is lesser than PM, this ratio will be lesser than 1. Right? So in this case, you need to ponder on this fact that in case of ellipse, the eccentricity, now what is eccentricity? Write it down. Eccentricity is the ratio of distance from focus or the fixed point to distance from fixed line. And in this case, fixed point is always the focus and this is always the directrix. So we can say that the ratio of distance from fixed point upon the, upon the distance from the fixed line, this is called eccentricity. And in the case of ellipse, this is always less than 1. And we'll discuss that in case of hyperbola, this is always greater than 1. Okay.